A cloudy start with some outbreaks of rain. The outlook as we head through the weekend is largely dry, but turning colder. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Obsessed with sleep here, aren't we? And still yes. vital, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it gives us more in a particularly dry February, isn't it? A concern about the lack of rain. I know, and actually, a year ago, we had a whole week where we had three named storms back to back. This is the kind of time of year we need our rainfall. We get most of our rain in the winter to top up the reservoirs, top up the river levels, and we just haven't had it. And actually, it's been really dry. So I've got a map from the Met Office, and this will show how dry it has been. Everywhere that's very brown is where we've had way below average rainfall. Anywhere that's sort of in the blue colours where we've had above average, the whole of the UK has seen below average rainfall so far this month. We've seen around about 36% of what we should for the month. We should see around about 70%, so half of what we would normally see. And actually, if I break it down to each nation, we can see that it was Scotland that was the driest. We had for Scotland, if I've got my next chart, please. Scotland was the driest location, one of the wettest locations with 65% of our rainfall so far. England, the driest of our nations, 19%. The driest place, Herefordshire, with just one percent of our February rainfall. Why has it been like this? It's the jet stream, it's buckled. It sat to our north for most of the month and high pressure sits with us. It's not just us, it's our near neighbours in France, across Italy, that have also had dry conditions. And at the moment, the outlook is for it to stay largely dry. So yes, it may be nice for getting out and about, but not welcome news for reservoirs and rivers. We have a little light rain today, slowly sinking its way southwards. It won't make much of a dent in our rainfall figures. And then some sunny spells and a few scattered showers. Here's how it looks first thing this morning, like the last few days where we have our cloudy skies. It's a mild start, but with clear skies and breaks in the south, we wake up to a touch of frost. As we head through the day, it's a very weak weather front, but it's a cold front. And it means behind that, colder air moves in and the winds turn northerly. So through the day, we lose the last of the legacy of cloud and patchy rain. A few showers down this east coast but winds of 30 40 miles an hour really take the edge off those temperatures up to 11 or 12 degrees so a little bit higher than yesterday but i think with a northerly wind it will actually feel that bit colder particularly along those eastern coasts this evening and overnight tonight the skies are clear so a cold frosty but at least sunny start to our saturday and Saturday is the driest and sunniest day of the weekend. A few showers around in the east, decent spells of sunshine. Temperatures sitting where they should be for the time of year. Sunday stays largely dry, but also pretty cloudy. Well, February has been largely dry and there isn't much rain in the forecast, so that isn't welcome news for the farmers, I'm sure, but welcome news if you have outdoor plans. The outlook is for high pressure to stay with us. It keeps the weather fronts at bay. It's like a force field and the winds turn northerly, so a big change for it being drier but cloudier as we head through the weekend and also turning colder. Here's how it looks though for today. At the moment, we've got a band of rain sinking southwards, then the sunshine shows its hand but it will be fairly windy. So first thing this morning, whether you have clear or cloud, makes a huge difference to our temperatures. In the south with clear skies for some of the night, we had temperatures just below freezing. So a frosty start to the day, you need to straight those windscreens. Further north, it's a cloudy start and mild with outbreaks of rain. This rain is a weather front, it's a cold front. As it slips its way southwards, it pushes away the last of these cloudy, gray, grim conditions and allows sunshine to return, but the sunshine also joined with this northerly wind, 30, 40 miles an hour along this eastern coast where it's set to feel chilly. So eight, nine degrees, but it will feel much colder than that. So let's see how things pan out as we head through the next seven days. We look at our trend across the north of the UK. So Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England. The big thing is that temperatures sit around about, if not below average, but with the return of some nighttime frost. How likely are we to see wet weather as through the next seven days across the north? We have our band of rain and showers today, but then the outlook actually is largely dry, if not fairly cloudy. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days. Again, the same fate with our temperature. The outlook remains chilly with those nighttime frosts around and the percentage chance of rainfall. How likely are to see wet weather? February has been dry and it stays dry. The outlook largely dry. A few showers through eastern areas today, but plenty of dry weather continue to, continues.